talk about this. Conservative commentator Star Parker made an impassioned pro-life argument before Congress. She got shouted down by a Democratic congressman from Tennessee, that man. Watch. I feel it disingenuous that the issues of Medicaid would come up and other opportunities for us to readdress what has happened and broken down in our most distressed zip codes. Abortion is the leading cause of death in the black community today. I am not disingenuous about anything I say about Medicaid or Medicare or LIHEAP or SNAP programs. And to suggest I'm disingenuous shows your ignorance or your absolute inability to deal with Congress people the way they should. I believe in those issues and I think they're proper and to say I'm disingenuous is just wrong and I expect an apology. Wow. Our next guest says she still is waiting on his apology. Joining us right now is the founder and president of the Center for Urban Renewal and Education, Star Parker. Star, were you seething when you heard that or just taking it back? Neither one, because actually I expected him to respond that way. When you look into Congressman Cohen's district, you see that he has true disdain uh, for his constituents. So to bring that out mm -hmm. of him publicly is actually a service to them. So, uh, Star, when, when you were talking about something being disingenuous, tell us the backstory. What was your larger point and why did you say that? I said it because during the, uh, his particular opening statements and during the showing of an ultrasound during the hearing, a protester got up and started yelling about CHIP. He started bringing uh, all of these welfare programs to the table when we were arguing and talking about a heartbeat bill. We were talking about abortion and the damage that it's doing to our country. Mm -hmm. Abortion, like slavery was, is a crime against humanity and we need to address it. And what this heartbeat bill is saying is that if, if the heart is beating, the baby should be protected. And therefore, uh, these were the discussions we were having. But what happens often with liberals is they want to then bring up welfare programs because they think that abortion is welfare. What he has done in his constituency and what his district looks like is all of the social ills. We can look at his district as exhibit A for everything that has gone wrong in America when it comes to liberals. Big government and abortion. That's all they want for their districts. And it's, um, it, it, it's just tragic mm. for them and for us as a nation. Star, what is your history? How did you get to this point where you feel so strongly about um, pro-life? Well, my own history has abortion in it, as many people know, because I'm very vocal about it. In fact, it's one of the reasons that I'm so adamant about telling the truth, in particular districts there. When you look at the the messaging that goes into these communities all the time. The poor are poor because the wealthy are wealthy. My problems are someone else's fault. Um, America's so racist, I don't need to mainstream. So I believed all those lies and got caught up in very aggressive, reckless living. It wasn't until after the fourth time I went into one of their so-called safe, legal, rare abortion clinics that I had a gut instinct way down deep inside. Maybe something's wrong with this. You know, it's one of the reasons that I'm so adamant that we really need to address this in the law, because people don't have the right information when they go into these abortion clinics and therefore mm -hmm. we become very sloppy as a society people are being maimed molested mm -hmm. and even murdered in these abortion clinics wow. with no federal oversight you, well, you were very civil you were so civil in that and then to watch him respond to you were you shocked at the way he was talking to you I was much more surprised when he came up after and put his finger in my face and, t and demanded that I come to his office and apologize. You know, I apologize to his constituents that I haven't spent much more time in that district. And in fact, I've gotten an invitation for the Republicans that are in the Memphis area. So I am going there. And the more resources we have, we're going in there and we're going to let them know the truth about what their yeah. congressman represents and that the answer to poverty is really freedom and personal responsibility. It's not a welfare state and it's certainly not abortion. Well, Star, it's kind of a sad state of affairs when they call you before Congress to give your point of view and your life's experience and he listens to it and he calls you ignorant i mean it was so, it was crazy and then louis gomer came to my rescue and Trent frank came to my rescue and they were and then next thing you know steve king had to shut the whole hearing down because they were getting ready to argue about what i put out which were facts i've put my testimony everywhere it's for public record to see and he couldn't dismiss any of those uh, uh positions that i brought forward and so therefore he went after me personally yeah, quite and a story. Yeah, we'll see where it goes from here. Star Parker, thanks so much. Thanks, Star.